formally over here. Okay. Uh, hi, Namaste, and hello, everybody. Uh, on this virtual sessions of COVID-19, the great lockdown and its impact on youth-led business on startup enterprises. I believe all you are doing well and uh, doing great. In this today's sessions, we are talking about the effects, challenges, and opportunities, or what are the way ahead for youth-led business enterprises. Okay, myself, Krishna Badr Karka here. I'm a founder, director, the founder chairperson of the Youth for Environment, Education, and Development Foundations, and I'm moderating today's sessions, and I'm very, very happy to see you guys over here. Uh, as a youth, talking about Wi-Fi Foundations, uh, especially I'll talk about this uh, ses uh, session. As a youth-led nonprofit, non-governmental organizations, it is our responsibility to watch all the youth activities happening all around the corner in our country. With this aspect, we decided to organize this event to know the current situations uh, where youth-led business enterprises are coping with this pandemic and what kind of innovative measures uh, you guys are uh, adopted for the survival of business and way forward. Uh, and additionally, this event is organized on the background of micro, small, medium-sized enterprise MSME Day, which is on 27 June 2020. Okay, first I'll share a uh, very small brief about MSME Day. Like it is dedicated to raising awareness of the importance of supporting the development of small and medium sized business in developing countries. But it is also a celebration of massive contribution for smaller companies made to global economy, often away from the spotlight. On its 70 foot plenary held on 6th April 2017, the UN General Assembly declared 27 June as a micro, small, and medium sized enterprise day. From that day onward, we, are, we celebrate 27 June as a MSME day. And uh, it was uh, declared to recognize the importance of micro, small, and medium sized enterprise in achieving sustainable development goals 2030 and in promoting innovations, creativity, and sustainable work for all. Uh, we cannot deny the fact that MSME enterprises, which generally are fewer, uh, employ fewer than 250 persons, are the major backbone of most economies economies worldwide and play a key role in the developing countries. According to the data provided by ICSB, International uh, Council for Small Business, formal and informal micro, small, medium-sized enterprises make up over 90% of all firms and account. And average, like they give 10, seven out of 10 employment and 50% contribution to the GDP. Okay, we are very much happy and excited to organize this event on the background of MSME Day 2020. And we are very grateful for all of you who uh, accepted our invitations and dedicated, de uh, dedicating your precious time. Uh, we have today six speakers and uh, one, uh, Anil, another one will be like uh, close synthesis and closing remarks from the different background. I'd like to welcome you all once again and thank you very much uh, for your time. Wife Foundations appreciate your support on this regard. And, okay, talking about our panelists, uh, our first panelist will be Mr. Nabin Bikas Morzan. I'll be telling the name on uh, order and then we'll have our panel sessions in that order. Mr. Nabin Bikas Morzan is a co founder and chief executive officer, CEO of Blue West to Bali, Bali Private Limited, BW2B. It was established uh, as a social enterprise dedicated to creating a Bahalu from a West since its inception uh, from July 2014. Uh, it has been working to maximize Bahalu from waste by promoting recycling, reducing the amount of waste sent to landfills and creating green jobs. And our second panelist is Ms. Uh, Sazal Pardhan. She is a co-founder and managing director, MD of Best Pani Private Limited. Best Pani Private Limited is generally promoting solutions with sustainability. Uh, Best Pani specializes in resource and development and installations of environmentally, socially, and economically sustainable water solutions, such as water harvesting, water filtration, water, wastewater recycle, and groundwater recharge. And our third panelist is Mr. Kiran Timsina. He is a co founder and chief technology officer of Urban Gaul INC Private Limited. And Urban UZ, it was established in 2012 with a vision to create a one-stop solutions for all online shopping requirements. They believe in putting end customers first and want to build a buying and selling culture where customer has significant control over the actions that relate to the customers. And our 
fourth speaker is Ms. Kritika Sa. She is a co-founder and chief executive officer of Tomitra Private Limited. And she is also a member board of director of Wifit Foundation as well. Tomitra is providing healthy and affordable launch box service to working individuals in the different organizations. They do provide weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly packages with different menu, different day. And our fifth speaker is Mr. Zachary Button. Uh, he is a founder and owner of Almost Heaven, a permaculture training and development private limited. Almost Heaven Pharma is a permaculture demonstrating training resource and resources center based out of Elam, Nepal. Uh, it supports farming communities from transition, transition to regenerative agricultures, whereas it helps restoring local soils, water source, and ecologies much more than, uh, and it too much more than only organic farming and beyond sustainable. They work with the farmer to adapt to climate change and join the global effort to repair the damage done to the earth. And our last panelist is Mr. Person Masural. He is a co-founder and managing director of MindRiser Consortium Private Limited. And MindRiser, it was established in 2019 to provide a, a quality set of skills to the graduates and to play a role of bridge between the skilled graduates and to the business that seeks them. They work in the principle that community organization NGOs, public sector, and private sector enterprises are essential partners in the development process. And lastly, our, for synthesis and closing remarks, Mr. Anil Upadhyay will be talking about major key takeaways from this session and what can we do forward. He is an executive director of Management Association of Nepal, Man and Kahn, Management Association of Nepal. Sorry. Okay. Uh, along with this, I would like to say uh, some uh, basic guidelines uh, of of our session, each speaker will be, each panelist will be getting a 10 minutes and we'll be happy if you try to uh, accommodate your presentations or story sharing within a 10 minutes would be uh, wonderful. And you guys can uh, use any languages you are comfortable, either English or Nepali, uh, not more than that. And then if, if you are comfortable uh, opening your camera while you are speaking, then it will be more engaging uh, for all the people who will hear them. Along with this, okay, I'd like to start uh, the sessions with um, inviting Mr. Naveen Bikas Morzan. He is a co founder and chief executive officer of Blue West to Value Private Limited. Mr. Naveen, the floor is yours, and thank you for accepting our invitations. Yeah, everybody, very good afternoon. Um, thank you, Krishnaji, and the entire team, Wi Fi team, and all the panelists also here. Uh, thank you for giving me your first chance to share everything what I'm doing. doing. Um, blue, uh, blue West to Value, when I have started, you know, that's, um, that was just a thought, you know, I have been working with lots of uh, local authorities and lots of projects like European Union funded projects, uh, basically on the solid waste management. But before we, uh, before I start, you know, there are lots of, you know, dedicated uh, funding has been uh, already there and then we have been supporting. But when I go to the field after the project ends, then uh, the situation that came up with some, uh, you know, different uh, learnings from that time. So when I went to the field, I felt like the beneficiaries are not very much likely as they are aware. Uh, so that's why I felt very uh, bad uh, because lots of enterprises that has been already formed. So they are running, but again, you know, it's not running in a proper way. So I felt it is must to start something that need to be done myself, at least in a smaller way. So we can have showcase these things to the other. So other also can have use this knowledge and the product that has been, uh, that we can have produced that, that will be utilized from all the other uh, young, youngsters as well as the municipality so that that can change the things in place. So uh, believing in this, so we started in 2014 this company as a Blue West to Value. The name is a little bit uh, strange because we gave the name is blue. So basically organic waste is termed as a green color. So at the, at the, it's a naturally, you know, decomposable. And for all the dry materials that we collect that is basically a green blue we give a tagline blue so the blue waste man is blue waste is basically to manage a complete solid waste management and uh, in place 
but basically we educated people how to segregate it, how to, to support the environment friendly processing of the unwanted uh, materials from their home, office, businesses, industries, whatever. So for that, they, uh, you know, another thing is, you know, people should pay off because voluntarists need to pay. So if you are throwing some garbage or some unwanted materials and to give somebody to manage it, then you must have to pay some fee, service fee for that. So we are taking that service fee and then we are managing our company as well. So similar to the workers also, you know, if they are doing in a better way, so they will be a better paid and then the system was there. Uh, it has impacted most of our businesses. This COVID has in, in impacted because uh, basically my office is in the Hotel Air Kennedy as Hotel Air Kennedy, the owner of the hotel is my partner. So because of that, we have a very good opportunity to work inside the hotel first. We started the hotel giving a training and you know to set up the places where the waste can be segregated and it is uh, very you know the visibility also has been placed so that the people from different background can also see clearly that waste is segregated in this hotel so and after that you know this the material uh, the at, at least in the beans can be transferred from where to where which location so these all has been tracked and then uh, already you know, given lots of uh, orientation session for the staffs. So with this knowledge, you know, they all know about what they have to do when the, in the from the kitchen, from banquets, from from uh, you know rooms, house housekeeping teams. You know, these all known about how to transport the waste and how it is segregated as source. So making a segregation, it's a gives gives a better value for everybody to understand uh, or you know the material is of good value because it is not contaminated with other stuffs so that we can have segregated again and then uh, store it and then after one full of vehicle you know we'll just call a vehicle for that and then we're sending it for the recycling we do have almost like 18 different recycling units that is partnered with them and uh, that is associated with us in uh, several forms of contracts so so we just give it away and then we weigh it. We keep all the data in our software has been which has been developed internally. So that makes more easier for us. But now because of this COVID, what happened is, is all tourism based hotel hospitality business is already down. So because of that, our most of the clients, bigger clients are already down. So we are not getting any fun hour from there. And also the waste is not coming. So almost like 25 hour staff is on leave now because first we have to give first leave but again after the lockdown you know what, what happened is what we have done is we try to give some relief materials from ourselves and then we had uh, we we reached out their homes also and then we had given so because of that particular things you know they felt that office is also there to support them it's not just about the salary things, but also about the people who need to be lived and also have some uh, some generous things, generous people are there to support them. So most of them are very happy with seeing that and then they are surviving. And then, but now even this uh, three months already we have won, but, uh, but again, we cannot continue it. And this is something how we are learning. Today also we had a good meeting, but this is an opportunity what I've seen is we have been discussing in virtually very much now because we had given there the facility of uh, um, this um, corporation so that uh, they can have call us at any time, any moment without any fee. So the, uh, that that's also makes us lots of, because those, the, the level of that brownie stuff is not very much, you know, skillful on this kind of gadgets and other things. So they have a smartphones so they can have call and then keep, come on a meeting. Uh, another thing is our, we have direct exposed, since uh, the staffs are direct exposed to the this uh, waste material that is coming out from the different areas. Some are in isolation, some are in, some are in quarantine. So in the municipal project, basically in Sankrapur where we are doing the collection and everything that has been continuing. But what we have understood is, you know, it, it takes like, at least we should have to keep uh, 
72 hours before it to be handled so that the virus will be killed. So that's why we have instructed the team members to have just collection after the 72 hours. And then so that may very less chances to get contraction. So because of that, uh, no, no one of our members, you know, are contracted of the virus. Luckily, we'd have tested at the Ketipur also, Sankarapur also, in Kathmandu also for the COVID, but we hadn't found the PCR uh, positive. For uh, some of the innovative solutions that what I ha we have done during this COVID is we had given a very fair work for work of contracts for the people for the member who have been continuing. Some already went home in their village. So that's why that's another, you know, opportunity what we have so that they, they go, went home so that we, we just would not pay for them. And as per the calculation of their work, we have deployed, as per deployed. Uh, and one interesting thing is, you know, we have, uh, we had already developed a system of uh, HRMS in us. Uh, smart HRMS. So that's why everybody who comes in our office, you know, they have to do uh, digital signature, I mean, attendance through their smartphone. So that's why the, the geo location will be tagged on. So that's why from remotely we can have money, we can easily monitor who are working and who are not working, who came on time or who are in late. So these everything. So because of this technology we have used, so it's very easy for us to monitor even though we are not able to go there. So we can have just instruct them, you do this and you do that. So that's why they are fair enough to, you know, manage their or calculate their work so that in the same way we are paying. So they are very happy with that also. No other um, uh, issues or rumors or something is not, that is not coming in my company. And Still more steps to go. I think I, I should say that in the Nepalese perspective, you know, uh, working from home is a little bit difficult again, but uh, in some way we are successful because of the smartphone carrying those ground stops. They also understand much. And then with the, with the facility that we have given with a free call access from them if they need. So that's also another benefit that we have. And this is something great uh, learning for us. And at the same time, yeah, uh, we have made, regarding this uh, COVID, what happened is, you know, we had given uh, all the PPE sets, not for the COVID, but, uh, from the starting days, you know, I have been working and I have been designing this safety equipment details for the, especially for the waste workers. So we have all the specifications and we had already gave order for the safety equipment from the very beginning, you know, when we started. That is made mandatory for all the staffs. Those who take the safety equipment and they're not wearing properly, so they can have go out, go to home because that's has been already mentioned at the, in a very first day. So everybody will be wearing. So that's plus point for us that some, many of the waste workers are, or maybe maybe many of the stakeholders, they are suffering for, they were asking for the PPE during these days because to, so to avoid the contraction of the virus. But for, for us and our team is already equipped and then there is not such a big problem for us. Uh, about the problems of the employees I have already mentioned, we have less mobilized them and paid for the work that they have done. Some relief materials that we distributed and that distribution is also made very fair for our staff. Share and listen to them in a group meetings and uh, it possibly we, are, we had done virtually, based, but today only we had called them at the office and then it's also maintained the social distance and other things and some of their problems we have heard listen and then so that we have copied uh, as, as a team in the office and then have as a support we had given for uh, the person who are in the problem. It's a, it's a smaller problem, so there might be a bigger problem for them, but that's, that's a different thing, but we had solved it very nicely. And the cooperation from the staff team, and that's all have supported me and to go for what. Uh, about this uh, 
lesson learned basically is for the COVID crisis. That's uh, we we are learning. Even I'm learning how to balance our life. I mean, unnecessarily, if we are moving or if you are going to some other places to get something in additions to get a benefit and some in future. But I think you know what I have learned is you know what much you need. We need we need to perceive. We need to get. Uh, the amount or the whatever materials we need that's need to be balanced and then that's we have done i think that's 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 all we learned together but this is a very brief uh, updates from my side and it is it was actually very difficult being a solid waste management expert here in Kathmandu working here since two de two decades i have been uh, serving for Kathmandu metropolitan city and other Sorry. municipalities Sorry also. To yes. Hello. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, Navinji. So, uh, could you please uh, wrap up within a minute? Oh, okay, sure. And no, because sorry. of uh, this, uh, we, I, I, I am also the technical advisor of Solid Waste Management Association of Nepal. So maybe Jack Burton will take some time there in Elam to see uh, our waste management center there in Elam also, uh, Mr. Uh, Krishna Patel is there, so you will be welcome. And there we have a very good composting facility with the machine and doing a, a very good job. You can also see because you are near over there. That's it. And thank you all for this is my best uh, out of my knowledge. You know, I can share it in a, this short period of time. Yeah, for further information or required, you can just connect me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Navinzi. I must say, like, uh, it's a very inspiring, uh, uh, like, steps you have taken for the uh, West solid waste management. And the, uh, for me, it's the key takeaway is like, uh, we should charge people for the uh, way, uh, for their waste decom like disposal or everything. And we are very like, uh, we are very uh, happy to know that you you are applying all the safety measures and you are taking care of your. Uh, employee as much as you can and thank you for sharing your story okay, now i'd like to request miss sozal pardhan uh, she is a co-founder and managing director of best Pandy private limited to share her story hi uh can you make screen sharing possible okay just a second yeah i think now you can do this Yeah, um, so I think uh, introduction, Lene, you already know that I run a company called Best Pani, which makes uh, water systems. And I, I will talk a little bit more about that later. But um, so this, so what we're talking about today regarding um, the pandemic and how it affects business and youth led enterprise. So what we know till date is that since the WHO announced this as a pandemic, uh, the Nepali government started a lockdown, closing all non-essential services. And, because, and rising cases has increased strain to our public health system. You know? And in addition to the human impact, there has also been significant commercial impact being felt uh, Nepalma and globally. So, in my case, um, uh, best pani kai case mate because we make uh, rainwater harvesting systems, by sand water purifying systems, groundwater recharge systems. Um, so we go to houses and we make these systems. Early now is supposed to be our highest uh, demand period of the year, but we have very low demand right now. So the work that is being done has been not only dr reduced dramatically, but we're having to adjust in the sense that um, workers, they go, if, if they went every day, now they go a lot less often. You know, they're putting in safety measures. Um, and at the beginning, we talked in the team and we had guidelines about how to 
perform, how to um, go about our daily lives, social distancing, all of that. Um, but to be perfectly honest, it is, um, and I'll come to this in the next slide as well. Uh, there's a point when, you know, the business has to assess whether, because everything is tumbled upside down, uh, whether there will even be a demand later to justify continuing um, hiring or employing certain employees, you know, so those kind of decisions have to be made, right? Um, right. So, so Miro Business Mate, unfortunately, I cannot give a lot of great examples because mine is one of the uh, worstly affected businesses but I did some research to be able to tell you what kind of trends there have been globally. So what we know is that um, in terms of impact, the good news is there is some mitigation of climate change and there is um, reduced pollution. And that hopefully means that our health is better so we have cheaper healthcare. Now coming to the bad news, it is that globally, um, there's a 30, we're expecting a $30 billion, trillion dollar deficit by 2023. This was uh, McKinsey data. On a 13% reduction in Nepali GDP has already been seen and uh, 15,000 people jobless. I think this is more, but I don't have that data. And this is, yeah, ADB. And we know that tourism has, is not even 10% of what it was, right? It was supposed to be, um, so Nepal visit Nepal 2020 and remittance which used to contribute 26 percent to the GDP is now at only one percent and um, wholesale retail them dramatically is being affected um, which uh, limited Chinese supply legal that we're having to question whether maybe we should import from other countries and personally I think the kind of challenges that entrepreneurs are going through right now um, young or old I you know there is no differentiation in, in these points, I think, uh, is that I would say tra transactions, it's difficult to get people to pay the money that they owed you for the old transactions or even you know new ones. And it's been difficult managing a remote team because person, uh, like at least middle business method, not a lot of people have smartphones. You know, um, My employees, they're not really from Kathmandu. So they're, they don't, use the kind of apps that I do anyway. Um, so I'm sure a lot, and that has been difficult for a lot of people. And keeping the team focused in, on priorities, uh, protecting the company from risk, right? And just making decisions under uncertainty in general um, has been challenging. So, so what I found is that there is actually a way to assess these risks and um, go past it and this is something that ILO came up with it's called the COVID-19 business continuity plan and you can google this um, there's a pd oh actually I can show it to you I've opened it in another tab yeah here it is so this has a full list of um, you know questions it's a tool to assess um, what are the risks that your business will face um, by by the four p's right um, yeah, so people, processes, profit, partnership. And uh, so, the, the, so this tool uh, helps uh, entrepreneurs analyze which products are still going to be profitable or viable um, and what kind of disruptions, what kind of impact will come from uh, the disruptions of the pandemic and how to, and then accordingly you list, all right, what are the actions I need to do? to business or like these four P's. Uh, this is a very simplistic way that I'm saying uh, right now because honestly it's not something that you can explain and to know that uh, there there are tools out there that you can search and um, you know as a generation of young entrepreneurs uh, half of our job is just to google things and figure it out so this works hopefully. So the way forward um, so I understand that research on Europe has suggested that governments uh, can start distinguishing between sectors that can navigate the crisis safely and other sectors um, which were 
already in, like, which will be in decline and maybe even um, badly hit by the crisis that may need structural changes. So they have this kind of data and I have not seen, um, they have this kind of data and I have not seen that for Nepal yet that indicates like which sectors are um, going to hit, be hit badly, which sectors need to be restructured. But as entrepreneurs, this is kind of beyond us, unless you are um, in an entrepreneur group that lobbies for these things like NYEF or one of those, right, FMCCI. Uh, right. So, um, so there is, I mean, again, this is too macro for me and this is not my expertise, but um, the talk is that if governments and private sector work together, then we can avoid these massive deficits and uh, we can create a more sustainable economy than there was before. Um, but as an entrepreneur of just water systems, uh, I would not be able to recommend what those decisions are. And, and I, with some research, I did find out that, uh, trends now are going towards, um, maybe the, uh, towards digital economy, like, um, businesses online, right? And then we see all these, um, online education portals coming up. We, uh, collaboration and academia. Uh, we see sustainable agriculture sectors opening up like uh, biopesticides, which will help to achieve food security in the future. And we see that there is more value for environmental education and awareness, which is very much linked to this pandemic. And we see an increase in um, remotely working from home. Uh, even, if it, even if we're going back to work, I imagine that people would still try to do like part-time three, four days a week. Um, at least that has been the trend abroad. And, and uh, despite what we may think, some sectors are actually growing. So maybe young entrepreneurs would want to, if they want to start businesses, um, they have to reassess sectors and see which ones are now more viable. Um, books, the books industry is growing, online groceries obviously, ed tech, uh, e-retail, medical, uh, BFSI, which is banking, financial um, services, and insurance, and uh, pharmaceuticals. So the last three here, like medical, BFSI, pharmaceuticals, that's a lot of investment that may not be in the reach of every young entrepreneur. But things like um, ed tech, e-retail, you know, these are skill sets that younger people generally have a uh, skill advantage in compar car comparison to generations before us. So yeah. I think it's about navigating um, and seeing where your strengths lie. And that said, okay, I have 10, I'm done with 10 minutes, so I'll just take one more minute. Um, you know, this is a crisis, so no matter how hard we try to convince ourselves that we have things under control, like a discussion such as this, is largely just a mental coping mechanism. And I think similarly, we're building business coping mechanisms. We're advising people to stay, um, employees to work from home, and we're rethinking how to work, and um, businesses are rapidly adapting to the pandemic. Um, right. So I think there's more than just, uh, I, I just wanted to end by saying that, you know, uh, it's um, so much bigger than we can hope to control. And hopefully business uh, uh, governments will come and help through, for example, through VAT and um, tax rate reductions. Uh, I know that the Nepali government is under a great deal of pressure, um, but hopefully that will change in the future. And even though the Nepal Nepali economy is reasonably resilient, um, COVID-19 impact will be substantial in our GDP. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, thank you, Sazul, for your uh, presentations. Uh, I'd like to say that, like, uh, working government and private sectors will be a, another opportunity to uh, recover our economy. And yeah, it's true that we uh, we need to uh, find the re do the research in order to identify the most uh, vulnerable or uh, affected sectors uh, to uh, have a recovery plan.
wrong with this, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Kiran Timsena to share his story. He is a co-founder and chief technology officer of Urban Gold INC Private Limited. Um, hello, everybody. So uh, as uh, you as you've already heard of my introduction, I'll just quickly go on to what kind of things that we do. Uh, we are partly e-commerce uh, and partly we also own a bakery. Uh, however, we sell everything online and deliver at homes. And we are partly in non-essentials and partly in essentials. Like Sazal uh, said, uh, essentials uh, has not been impacted much. So part of our business has not been impacted, though there are other perspectives that has impacted the overall functioning. Uh, whereas some of the business model like a bakery model or maybe uh, delivering other gift items at home, these have been severely impacted. And more than just the kind of goods that we deliver, the other kind of impact that we faced uh, since the COVID-19 is the HR crisis. Uh, since we, we are operational in Kathmandu, and as uh, previously told, a lot of employees uh, who work in Kathmandu are actually from outside Kathmandu. So a lot, a lot of immigrants. In fact, I am not a permanent citizen of Kathmandu. I'm from Eastern Nepal. So there are a lot of people who are working in Kathmandu. And as the lockdown started, our, uh, a few days before the lockdown started, there was a massive migration of human resources uh, from outside, sorry, uh, to outside the valley. So therefore, now, right now, we're at a situation where there should have been a surplus of uh, HR, but there is a deficit of HR right now in Kathmandu. And that has impacted a lot of businesses, especially we don't have enough people to work in all the fields or sectors that we are involved in. And apart from that, one more bigger issue that we face, or almost any organization in Nepal has faced, is the work from home culture. Though we've been trying, we've been adapting to work from home culture, it's not as easy as uh, we would imagine it should be. Like, uh, if, if I'm a student, uh, it would not be easy to study online since we're not accustomed to it. Uh, if we are working in a company, the same applies. We're not used to communicating fully online. We rely on a lot of one-to-one -one communications, a lot of activities that we do. For example, in our case, uh, we bake cakes and deliver. That is not possible uh, with uh, work from home model. Somebody has to come into the bakery, make cakes and deliver. Not just that, even in any e-commerce industry, somebody has to come there, somebody has to pick up the goods, somebody has to pack the goods, somebody has to prepare the receipts and somebody has to deliver. So a lot of things uh, which we imagine works like a work from home model actually is not 100% practical in our case, especially we're not used to it, we're not used to technology, we're not used to using Zoom. Even at this date, a lot of us are not used to using Zoom properly. Zoom is an example, uh, though it is used for video conferencing, other kind of tools like uh, Google Meet uh, or Microsoft Teams or even Slack. These three are the biggest uh, work from home software models. And we are not so much used to using these technologies. Therefore, a lot of communication is already hampered by work from home model that we're accepted. That's not easy, but I hope since uh, this is going to be the new normal, as they say, I hope we'll soon be well accustomed to these and increase our productivity with time. Uh, so these are the normal uh, things that has uh, been happening in almost every industry. So more or less, even our company, even our business model has been impacted. The other impact, it would be the economic impact. Obviously, uh, due to the lockdown and due to the COVID, people are afraid, people are at home. They don't have money, in fact. I see a lot of friends saying uh, they are already broke AF. Uh, they are jobless. A lot of have been laid off. In, in fact, even big companies, I won't tell the name, but even big companies have already uh, reached to a point of having zero employment. Uh, voluntary or involuntary layoff is common now in Kathmandu and not just Kathmandu, throughout Nepal. It will only increase uh, since this is not going to be resolved anytime soon that we are already aware of. There is no vaccine. Lockdown will probably continue uh, through, through a different model, but it will continue, uh, therefore impacting the overall business operations throughout the Nepal, uh, laying off would be more common. And then uh, we'll reach a point where uh, SR would be surplus to hire, but then again, Hiring the people and getting them to work for you or getting them on board to work uh, would be a big challenge that everybody are going to face in the near future. Uh, and 
as anyone like as a citizen of this nation or as a business operating in this nation or a business paying tax or a citizen paying an income tax we expect a lot from the government that is not just the government from the state let's say we almost everybody would expect that the state serves as a guardianship at this moment they somehow come up with something i don't know what that thing is going to be like so they'll say it could be a, a tax subsidy a vat subsidy or whatever kind of subsidy the government a state comes up with it that will be a key factor in uh, helping the SMEs uh, bounce back after the COVID. Could be three months, could be six months, but then again, if state does not act in and support the companies that are struggling right now, uh, I'm afraid a lot of us will reach to a point where there will be no way to get back on our food. With the loans that we have, with the operational loss that we're bearing, uh, it is going to be an even bigger mess and challenge in the coming future. So these are mostly uh, issues that I have witnessed, that we've witnessed, and I think all of us have witnessed in some cases. I'll just add one more thing uh, before I end what I have to say. Uh, I want to talk about the future. Uh, the future, the way I see it, uh, has been changing very rapidly. Uh, before the COVID, a lot of us were not used to the kind of things that we do today. We were not used to meeting on Zoom we are not used to video conferencing. We are not used to using any software for communication, Slack, Teams, uh, or whatever it be. But now, since uh, this is a very normal thing to do, uh, I strongly believe that in the future, this will only accelerate. The way we do things would change. The structure would change. We would be less uh, reliant on office and physical spaces and more focused on work completion and how things are done uh, then the aesthetics that we used to focus on once upon a time uh, and uh, I, I also imagine a lot of automation to happen in the future because technology is booming right now the industry that's growing the fastest is technology because the, there is a massive adoption of technology right now forced adoption due to covid so technology will progress really fast and often technology will reach a point where it will be able to replace a lot of human resources in the tasks that happen regularly, the operational activities, they will probably be replaced by technology. Even today we can see a lot of things like schools, uh, colleges, they are going online, they are starting online education. And a lot of new companies are, uh, have already started in Nepal who serve online education. Uh, a lot of hotels and not just hotels, a restaurant, sorry, a lot of restaurants and cafes have started delivering goods which they would not do otherwise. Even the fanciest and the biggest one who were so stubborn that they had a beautiful place so they would never go online. They have already started selling online because there is no other way they can make revenue out of this crisis, in this crisis. So I see a lot of changes in the future, especially the way technology will be adapted. And therefore I believe it is time now that we start thinking outside the box regarding how our business operated and how we should sustain in the future because the way we operated in a year ago will not help us sustain any year later on. Therefore, it's time to start thinking right now how things are going to change, how technology is going to impact the overall business operations and prepare ourselves for the new future. That's it. Okay, thank you, Kiran, for sharing your insights. And yeah, uh, like it's true that the, the people's patterns or way of living has been changing rapidly. And then this uh, pandemic has added additional fuel on that. And talking, another key point I'd like to take is the role of uh, state as a guardianship. Uh, this is the a time where government uh, so, should show that like uh, they are for us or they are working for the of people like us or all the every citizens of our country and another major challenge for us is like human resource mobilization yeah it's true uh, right now we are very lacking due to the movement of the people and at some point it will be a very much overflowed due to this pandemic and layoff all on, uh, now i like to and thank you kiran Timsina, for the time now i like to uh, in, invite Ms. Kritika Sa. she is a co-founder and chief executive officer of tommy truck private limited and she is also a member board of director of Wifield Foundations, and also a very good friend of mine as well. Kritika Sa, uh, this floor is yours. Uh, 
Thank you, Krishna, and thank you, Wifit Foundation, for such an opportunity. Namaste, Sabi Janalai, Mokritika Saha. We are a company, Jetomitra Private Limited, which is established in 2019, we established back. Bahara newly established, oh, I mean, uh, I mean, company, we provide healthy and hygienic launch for offices. Offices or go like provide gorja, just now, any package system or ucha, monthly package, weekly package, unja, in a June package, lina malaga, they package subscribe gorra, ki monthly package, majanu porsa, ki weekly package ma. Ani this ma just now, any go of a yo kosari, I'm the magma ayo bonda, heri, of a I'm lipoila cam go drago toma. उसमा के रे लार्जिंग पार्ट मा काम गरिरा थियो त्यहाँ वरिपरी अब हामी बस्ने ठाउँमा कतै पनि हामीले त्यो राम्रो अफोर्डेबल लन्च खाने ठाउँ भेटेन अब अरु अरु अब यो हुन्छ नि फुड मान्डु भोजडिस हरुले लन्च प्रोभाइड त गर्नुहुन्छ डेलिभरी गर्नुहुन्छ तर अब हाम्रो इम्प्लोयहरु भन्नाले डेली बेसिस मा खाने इम्प्लोयहरुलाई उहाँबाट अफोर्डेबल हुँदैन नेपालको अब इम्प्लोयहरु जो जो हुनुहुन्छ नि उहाँ अब मिडल Employ Bonum, high level employ, and a middle level employ or lay about the offer devil in China. Dinko Tinche, Charche, Pansipe, or the daily Unerco, Unjan salary, Lenny of Food Gornos of Benatio. They were Ambro, the Macmatic of the Vanity, Kinamle, Olisostomina, Soxon Vanity, and the Sostomakin, Nital Nosakni. So let's start one era of the Hera, they mind make up for and they start Goric or Tio Titi Hera of a gay time Unjani Bisma of a Market lina time lagi rathiyo. Abe bisma thakka abe market abe yo COVID vanda agari amle three four month agari matre market liya thi amle abe COVID aaya liyo abe yo crisis ta abe ekdam chulo use jostly use impact pay raja amro company le abe amro matre not only my business hai na abe yo le je yo crisis le kosa ne old white nee sabe business ma old pay pay raja. Our business matter and a manchego lifestyle community of each and everyone are affected by this crisis. I know, of course, the impact one about that. Of a missong oil of a bisma you locked down cool and equally one, I'll completely cool. I got a china key key modality change back or so of a eighty hero of a missong cam gone all a main power in China. Joe, I'm some employer cam gone on till lockdown boy when I want to have not home for Pino boy. Let the Abra return cash window on a lay kit a PCR gone over fifteen thousand pay or a PCR gone. Unerco monthly salary fifteen thousand Udena Unelco fifteen thousand pay or a PCR garza of a Unala on a lay government co of a Stanley talk on Jani local community co Cuneco, Sifaris Chinopani of Josanga Power saw Josanga Paisa only easily Sifaris Piras, Jabadani, Auna Jana Bairasa. अब जो इम्प्लोयहरु अब जो मान्छेहरु हुनुहुन्छ नि अब उहाँसँग न पावर छ न पैसा छ उनीहरु डेली बेसिसमा कमाएर खाइरहेको मान्छेहरु छ नि उनीहरुसँग अब त्यो टाइपको फ्यासिलिटी नै छैन के उनीहरु यहाँ रिटर्न आउनलाई आउन पाइरहेको छैन उनीहरु जाथ्यो उहीको उही अड्किरहेको छ अब त्यसले गर्दा अब हाम्रो बिजनेसमा अब हल्ट त भइरहेछ अब इम्प्याक्ट त परिरहेछ अब त्यसले गर्दा खेरि अब अहिले हुन्छ नि हामीलाई चाहिनु पर्ने अब इम्प्लोयहरु सफिसियन्ट इम्प्लोयहरु हुनुहुन्न अहिले अब कस्तो भइरहेछ भने अब पहिला लिमिटेड मात्रै थियो डेलिभरी गर्ने अफिस के रे यो फुड डेलिभरी गर्नेहरु लिमिटेड मात्रै हुनुहुन्थ्यो हैन अहिले चाहिँ अब कस्तो भयो भने यो कोभिड ले गर्दा खेरि जुनसुकै रेस्टुरेन्ट होटलहरुले पनि टेक ओए को हुन्छ नि टेक ओए सर्भिस सुरु गर्दैछ के अब यसले गर्दा धेरै नै अब हामीसँग कम्पिटिटरहरु धेरै नै आउन भयो यो पनि एकदम ठूलो ह्यूज इम्प्याक्ट हो हाम्रो बिजनेस को लागि अब त्यसै गरी अब हुन्छ नि हामीले अब बिचमा भनेको यसको यसको रेस्पोन्स अब कसरी गर्ने भन्दाखेरि अब केही नै गर्न सक्दैन वी एक्सेप्ट द कोभिड-19 एन्ड मूव अन नि अब त्यही नै छ हामीसँग के पनि अब बिचमा भनेको हाम्रो धेरै नै अब धेरै नै नि मिनिमम पनि 2 एन्ड हाफ मन्थ जति हाम्रो क्लोज नै भयो बिजनेस Business pure close nee boy. Abe tere hera. Ani saam pass the na chalo na lai tere hera ni. Saar kaile pass deko the. Limited limited manchi hala pass deko the. Na abe amle apply gori ko amle pass paaye na. Amle pass paaye na abe amle run gori nee mile na amle service run gori nee mile na the. Tere hera amle run gori nee mile na abe unja ni financially bannu pata hera support abe government le gori ke chay na abe Nepal mata yo koi mile sune ko ani chay na ekdam kam matre. Mainly or financially, on Johnny newly start up or like start up life financially will support Gorsa and Egdom Com Matri, limited Mamatri Sunico Sumile. 
अब नेपाल मत इस्तो छाई ना बन्ना चाहिए सुने को छू तारा गौरे को और उसे प्रैक्टिकली चाहिए उनसा नहीं एकदम थोरे मात्रा ले पाई रहा चाहिए यो सर्विस चाहिए ना गवर्नमेंट बाटा अब तेजी करी अब वर्क फ्रॉम होम को कुरा गौर नो पड़ा यो मेरो बिजनेस को लागी वर्क फ्रॉम होम इज नॉट स्वीटेबल है ना अब आम्रो बने को स्टाफ औरो आम्रो इम्प्लॉय औरो सबे जाना है ना इम्प्लॉय औरो सबे जाना फिजिकली ऑफिस में होने ही पड़ता अब किचन में स्टाफ होने ही पड़े डेलीवरी को लागी जाने ही पड़े अब वो वर्क फ्रॉम होम बने रा मेरे को और बाटा डेलीवरी बहुत दिन चुवाने रा अब नेपाल में तो ड्रोन सर्विस पनी चाहिए ड्रोन डेलीवरी सर्विस पनी चाहिए ना अब तो वो यानी वर्क फ्रॉम होम बने रा ड्रोन बाटा डेलीवरी बहुत दिन अमीलती हो ये पन चाहिए ना वर्क फ्रॉम होम बने अब ऑफिस और सब पे क्लोज चाहिए ले तीन अरु को कुछ तो भाई है ओक फ्रॉम होम बाई रहा था तीन अरु को और तेरी कारण लेकर आता है हमरे बिजनेस में वन एकदम के हमरे कस्टमर लूज गारी रहा था वही ले अब तेरे को आता है अब उन जानी बीच में अब इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन और वो तेरे तो बनना ले पनी हमरे कुने पनी इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन अब इसको लगे तो केपन चाहिए ना इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन आई ना हमले जाए और एक अति बिजनेस मॉडल चेंज करें क्या थी बीच में जाए अब फूड और डेलीवर ना करें रहे हमले अब फूड तो हमरो टारगेट बने को हमरो के रे बिजनेस कंपनी को अब मॉडल बने को हमले के ऑफिस और लाइ मात्रा को इंपोर्ट जा हमले सप्लाई कर चा फूड पर पर्सन लाइ सप्लाई करी रहा को थे ना हमले अब ते बार कॉर्ड कॉर्ड में सप्लाई करने पूरा भाई ना हमले के बार ऐसे बने बीच में अलिकति और बसी बसी तो वाक को बैठा थे क्या कुछ लोग मोमो खाना मन लाए रहते हैं कुछ लोग अब फ्रोजन आइटम और दे रहे ही पूरा आ रहे हैं जानी उन्हें अलग डिमांड कर रहते हैं नियामले उन्हें अलग मत रहे ना अम्ले को और होटल और लाए हैं जानी चौली राखो जो होटल बीच में चौली राखो पन रही चौली � के रे ग्लोब्स तो लाऊं नहीं पड़ते हो किचन में काम करता है री उनसे नहीं और ये जो हुआ ले मैक्स कंपलसरी मैक्स लाऊं नहीं पड़ने उनसे कंपलसरी ग्लोब्स लाऊं नहीं पड़ने उनसे अब अली कती बाय नहीं सोशल डिस्टेंस मेंटेन करने नहीं पड़ने उनसे हम भी डेलीवरी गए और जो उनसे हुआ ले पीपीटी � अन्य डेलीवरी करने जाता है डेलीवरी करने जानु अगरी आउनु अगरी उन्हें वहाँ ले आफले सेंटाइज करने उनसा ते सरी यो सर्विस आइले सारे उनसा नहीं अली कती और गाड़ी बॉडी रखो सो अंतिस में कॉस्ट सारे पहले कैश ऑन डेलीवरी होंडे और ये चीज तो कैश ऑन डेलीवरी लाई कंपलीटली अब चेंज करे स्विच करे रा कैश ऑन डिजिटल पेमेंट होन्जा के किरे पेमेंट से डिजिटल होन्जा कैश ना बरा डिजिटल पेमेंट पहिए रहा था इले यो कोविड ले गा दहेरे जे मैक्सिमम आरु डिजिटल पे� थाने ही होता है ना क्या आई दिन को धीरे आई दिन से आई दिन से कुछ लाओ तो पतो नहीं होता है ना आई ना अबे डिजास्टर यू आओ दे छाए मलाई वाला रो ऑलर्ट करे रो प्रिवेंशन तेज को लाइक प्रिवेंशन करे रो बस नहीं जानी मैं यू आओ दे छाए मैं प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन करे रो बस तो बनी अब प्रिवेंशन करनी कुरा मुंजा ने आमी अब already ready बारा बहुत समय ना यो covid nineteen बने कुछ तो बने जो था ही ना बाको पूरा के अब uncertainly idea है ना कुछ लाइन ना ना इसको ये था पने थियो आऊं चा बने इन था थे ना केपन था थे ना अब crisis बने disaster बने कुछ अब कुछ लाइन सोधे रहा आऊं दे ना है ना अब idea ले आई पच्ची अब risks अब business बने को कुछ बने business कौन हो बने का risks लीन हो आंधे रिक्स ले गए हो फर्स्ट में अब बिजनेस कर चुके हैं वंदे हरी ने आंधे रिक्स ली रिस्क आके थी वंदे अब अरे रिक्स ली तो हरी अब बिजनेसमैन को वाले को अब कॉस्ट होने चाहिए इसको प्रिवेंशन वाले को कॉस्ट होने का अलग तो यानी फाइनेंशियली स्ट्रॉंग बाको बाए उन्चानी अब फाइनेंशियली स्ट्रॉंग बाको बाए हमने और इक दिके टाइम समान पानी सोशल सोशल लेवल उन्हें सक्यो बनी होंगे तो अब न्यूली हमने न्यूली अब स्टार्टअप करें को अब तो फाइनेंशियली स्ट्रॉंग पानी हो रही है अब गवर्नमेंट ले कौसे ले पनी आमला फाइनेंशियली सपोर्ट करे को पनी छाई ना अब अब बिजनेस होने का अब अब एवरी बिजनेस में मैन चले की सोचा बने को बिजनेस करने मैन चले व्हाट विल बी द नेक्स्ट बने उस वजह रहेगा यूं जाए ना अब ये तिले ये तिले आमले एंड बंदा तो मिल दे ना 
अब यो पछि हामी के भन्ने त एउटा न एउटा प्लान हुन्छ अब प्लान गरिरा छौ हामी त्यसमा अब वर्क अन गरिरा छौ हैन गरिरा छ अब यसमा भने कस्तो भने एम्प्लोयहरुको प्रब्लमहरु भन्दा खेरि अब हुन्छ नि कति एम्प्लोयहरु हाम्रोमा अब अरु अफिसर्स अफिसर्सहरुमा मलाई अब त्यस्तो सारो नलेज भएन हाम्रोमा भनेको कस्तो छ भने कि त बाहिर विदेशतिर जान्छ हैन युथहरु सबै विदेश थिए म्याक्सिमम विदेशतिर जान्छ किनभने उनीहरुले नेपालमा पेमेन्ट एकदम कम पाउँछ उनीहरुले जे काम गरिरा छ नि पेमेन्ट कम पाउँछ त्यही भएर उनीहरु म्याक्सिममहरु विदेश जान्छ हो जो विदेश जान मिलिरा छैन उनीहरु चाहिँ अब कम स्यालरीमा पनि बस्छ हाम्रो अब हाम्रो केसमा कम स्यालरी भन्नाले अब बसिरा डेलिभरी गाईहरु पार्ट टाइम काम गर्छ उनीहरु उनीहरु एकदम कम स्यालरीमा काम गर्दिराको हुन्छ के काको हुन्छ अब इम्प्लोय भनेको अब यो कुनै पनि कम्पनीको लागि इम्प्लोय भनेको मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेन्ट पार्ट पार्ट हुन्छ के इफ अब उनीहरुलाई हामीले खुसी राख्यो उनीहरुको टेक केयर गर्यो भने उनीहरुले हामीहरुको कम्पनीको कम्पनीलाई टेक केयर गर्छ के त्यो भन्नुको मतलब कस्तो भने उनीहरुले हाम्रो कस्टमरलाई खुसी राख्यो भने हाम्रो बिजनेस यसै नै बुम हुन्छ त्यो भएर हामीले इम्प्लोयको बारेमा सोच्नै पर्छ अब इम्प्लोयहरु कतिजना अब त्यतिखेरै अब लकडाउन स्टार्ट हुनु हुने बेलामै जानु भयो कतिजना आफ्नो आफ्नो घर जानु भयो हैन कतिजना अब यहीँ बस्नु भयो उहाँलाई कस्तो भयो भने उहाँको अब कोही 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 स्टुडेन्टहरू हुनुहुन्थ्यो उहाँले बिहान काम गरेर के अरे बिहान कलेजहरू पढेर दिउँसोतिर हामीसँग काम गर्नुहुन्थ्यो उहाँहरू युथहरूले अब उहाँहरूको कस्तो सम अफ डेमार हुन्छ नि होस्टेलमा बस्नुहुन्थ्यो अनि कोही रेन्ट लिएर बस्नुहुन्थ्यो अनि उहाँहरूसँग पैसा पे गर्ने भएन उहाँहरूले चाहिँ होस्टेल छोड्नु पर्यो त्यसरी रुमहरू छोड्नु पर्यो दुई तिनजना हाम्रो भनेको प्रडक्सन हाउसमै आएर बस्नु भएको छ उहाँहरू दुई तिनजना हाम्रो इम्प्लोयहरू प्रडक्सन हाउसमै आउनु भएको छ अनि हामीले उहाँहरूको अब हामीले हुन्छ नि रेखरेख गरिरहेको छौँ अब उहाँहरूलाई पेमेन्ट भनेको फर्स्ट टू मन्थ त हामीले पेमेन्ट गऱ्यो फुल पेमेन्ट नै गऱ्यो टू मन्थ अब मार्च अप्रिलमा उहाँहरूलाई पेमेन्ट गऱ्यो अब त्यसपछिको हुन्छ नि त्यसपछिको टाइम भनेको अब हामीसँग नि पैसा छैन हुन्छ नि हामीसँग न हामीले काम गरेकै छैन हामी हुने के अरे अब हाम्रो सर्भिस स्टार्ट गरेकै छैन हामीसँग कहाँबाट पैसा आउँछ अब त्यही पनि भनिहाल्यो नि मैले हामी न्युली स्टार्टअप हो हामीसँग त्यस्तो अब हुन्छ नि ब्याकअपमा भनेर धेरै पैसा नि हुँदैन त्यही गर्दाखेरि अब हामीले हुन्छ नि त्यो इम्प्लोयहरूलाई पनि सेग्रिगेट गऱ्यो कि कति इम्प्लोयहरू हुन्छ म्यारिड हुनुहुन्छ उहाँहरूको फ्यामिलीको उहाँहरूको घरको फ्यामिलीको रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी उहाँमा छ नि उहाँहरूलाई चाहिँ हामीले फुल पेमेन्ट गर्न सकेको छैनौँ हामीले हाफ हाफ हुन्छ नि फिफ्टी पर्सेन्ट पेमेन्ट गरिरहेको छौँ अब कतिजना हुन्छ नि मैले अघि भनेको जस्तो अब भर्खरको हुनुहुन्छ यङहरू हुनुहुन्छ अनम्यारिड हुनुहुन्छ उहाँहरू बिहान कलेज जानुहुन्छ दिउँसो पकेट मनीको लागि हामीसँग काम गर्न आउनुहुन्छ पार्ट टाइम काम गर्न आउनुहुन्छ उहाँहरूको लागि चाहिँ उहाँहरूलाई अनपेड लिभ भयो उहाँहरूलाई सोधेर उहाँहरूसँग कुरा गरेर उहाँहरूले पनि बुझ्नु भयो होइन अब यतिखेर बुझ्नै पर्यो सबैजनाले बुझिरहेछ होइन अब उहाँहरू अनपेड लिभमा बस्नु भएको छ अनि यो सबै गर्दाखेरि मैले यो कोभिड नाइन्टिनबाट के लेसन हुन्छ नि सबैजनाले अब लेसन त सिकिरहेको छ होइन अब कस्तो भने चाहिँ अब मान्छेदेखि मान्छे नै सोसियल डिस्टेन्समा बस्नुपर्ने के अब मदर नेचरले अब हुन्छ नि उहाँले हुन्छ नि नेचरलाई नेचरलाई अब हामीले पहिला जुन गरिरहेको थियो नि अब उहाँ नेचरलाई फोहोर गरिदिइरहेको थियो उहाँहरूलाई अब त्यो जनावरहरू जो जो छ उनीहरूलाई हुन्छ नि केजमा राखिरहेको थियो अहिले ठ्याक्कै ठ्याक्कै त्यही हामीमा आइरहेको छ के अब नेचरलाई अब कति ठाउँमा अब प्लास्टिक नै प्लास्टिक छ फोहोर अब रिभरहरू अब खोला नालाहरू सबै प्लास्टिकले उ गरिरहेको छ फोहोरले कम्प्लिटली भइरहेको छ अहिले त्यही ठ्याक्कै हामीमा आइरहेको छ के हामीले प्लास्टिक बिहानदेखि बेलुकासम्म प्लास्टिक नै प्लास्टिक युज गरेर हामीले नै प्लास्टिक नै कभर गर्नु परिरहेको छ हामीमा त्यो हो जे अब हुन्छ नि त्यसमा कस्तो भने जस्तो हामीले दिएको छौँ त्यस्तै हामीले भोगिरहेको छौँ है अहिले अब हुन्छ नि अब जस्तो सुकै अब अहिलेको जस्तो सुकै सिचुएसन आउँदाखेरि पनि अब हुन्छ नि फर दोज टाइप अफ रिक्स एन्ड थ्रेड वी सुड बी रेडी के अहिले रेडी नै छ अब केही टाइम अगाडि अब हामी डराएर हामी प्यानिक भएर केही पनि हुँदैन यो भन्दा पहिला अब फर्स्टमा फर इक्जाम्पल हुन्छ नि हाम्रो लकडाउन स्टार्ट हुने बेलामा अब हामीसँग कोभिड पेसेन्टहरू त्यति थिएन के भर्खर हुन्छ नि चार पाँचजना मात्रै हुनुहुन्थ्यो उहाँहरू पनि हस्पिटलमा अलरेडी सेफ ठाउँमा हुनुहुन्थ्यो त्यतिखेर हामी सबैजना डराइरहेको सबैको इक्जाम्पल दिन्छ सबैजना डराइरहेको थियो आतिरहेको थियो 
अहिले यत्रो टाइम 3 महिना 3 महिना पछि अब 1000 के 10000 क्रस गरिसक्या छ हैन तर हामी नर्मल लाइफमा आइसक्या छ के अब नर्मल लाइफमा आइसक्या छ भन्नाले पनि केयरलेस गर्नु हुँदैन सेफ्टी मेजरमेन्टहरु युज गर्नु पर्छ अब हामीले जे गरिरा छौ त्यसमै वी शुड गो अन दिस इज अ भेरी ब्रीफ स्टोरी अफ माइ एक्सपीरियन्स एन्ड थ्यांक यू Okay, thank you so much, Kritika sir. Yeah, I, I must say this is like our reality uh, of our, and we need to learn to accept this. Okay, and like now, I I like to invite Mr. Zachary Barton. He is a co-founder and managing director. Of, okay, sorry, he is a founder and owner of Almost Heaven Pharmaceutical Training and Development Private Limited. Yeah, Mr. Zach, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it just started raining so i hope can you guys hear me okay yeah, yeah? i can hear cool. okay. okay it just started raining again so uh i'd like to start by uh thanking everybody uh thank you yfed and uh, yfeed and all the participants um i've been in nepal for over 17 years now and really what i find most inspiring um about this co- country is all the young people that are out there your guys is uh, entrepreneurial uh, spirit um, how resilient you guys have been how much you guys have been through in your lifetime from the revolution to earthquakes to blockades to this corona virus political problems bandas uh, i am always amazed at the resilience of the youth in nepal and i really believe that um if we keep working at things and if we have good vision and good worth at ethics that we're going to come through this uh, coronavirus crisis also uh our strengths um i really see the strengths in nepal are you guys and your knowledge your experience your energy uh and it's what's attracted me to this country and what makes me want to keep investing in nepal um so maybe i'll try to show uh almost seven farms so uh almost seven farms is a permaculture uh training and development organization that's a picture of our farm uh we are located in surya daya municipality in elam district um and also have projects across uh japan elam districts uh our main services are um of of course pradarshan so demonstration uh training uh anusandan and uh resources so we have four main services that we provide to governments organizations businesses and farming communities uh, across nepal uh actually um these services that we're providing are all separate services but they're also all integrated together uh with the goal of helping farmers in nepal transition to what we call regenerative agriculture so um it's more than organic and it's even beyond sustainable because our business is positioned to help nepali farmers actually regenerate soils and regenerate the ecologies okay on their farms and in the villages which provide all the services and all the functions that support life on this earth so our goal is not just to help nepali farmers become organic it's for them to actually be leaders in the global effort um to become more resilient in the face of climate change and to repair the damage we've done to this earth um we we have been working in this field for about 15 years uh 15 years ago i started an organization in canada called the kamala foundation which works in regenerative development uh again that word regeneration because we're not looking to make something unsustainable sustainable because that's not possible uh first we need to regenerate things uh to get to them to a, a point where they can be sustainable uh myself i am a, a teacher a student and a, a advocate of something called permaculture um without getting in it too much in per- permaculture what we do is we take the principles of ecology or that is the principles of how nature is both 
self-sustaining and abundant. And we apply that to the design of sustainable human habitats. So uh, there's a lot in there and there's a lot of things going on. Um, I would not say we, we were ready for coronavirus and it's our business model and it's us using the principles of ecology and the principles of nature. Um, because when we follow the principles of nature, what we are doing is we're building resilience into our business models. Uh, so as I couldn't say, can you guys still hear me okay? Yeah? Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that um, we knew exactly that it was coronavirus that was going to hit us. Um, but we know that uh, the systems which are supporting life on earth, our economic systems, our financial systems, our political systems, our social systems have become very unsustainable to a point where small changes or small challenges can have really big effects. Um, so even though I wouldn't have said that I knew it was going to be coronavirus, it was going to kick us in our ass. We knew something was going to come eventually. So in our business model, yes, we have built redundancy into it and we have focused on having a resilient business model um, how that looks so how do you have a resilient business model um, one of it is providing multiple services so as a as opposed to just having one thing that our farm does we have four key services all separate packages but all integrated together um, so there, we, we use a principle in Nepali, the permaculture principle in Nepali is ek tatwa anik kam. So from one element, you have multiple services or multiple functions being served. So our farm is not only a farm. Our farm is a farm, so we're growing our food and we're selling uh, produce. Uh, we are also an education center. We also do demonstration, we do training, and we have the whole resource and resource side. So if one function gets a little bit thrown off so like uh, we've we've had to cancel our trainings unfortunately we had some really good uh trainings set up for the spring um that we've had to delay hopefully to the fall or whenever we can uh, open up and get going again um but so that one got hit but the 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 resource the the um research side of it we can keep doing so we we have multiple income sources um, we have multiple services that we provide, as well as we have um, multiple markets that we go after. So I would say our response to the coronavirus crisis has just been, we just keep doing what we're doing. Trainings went down, but everything uh, is going. And I mean, we take the opportunity to go even deeper in the things which we can focus on right now. So improving our farm systems, building up resources, diversifying our resources. Um, I really liked how uh, Sajo was talking about bio um, fertilizers and stuff like that, because that's something we jumped on last year. And now that we're a little bit, we're less busy on training. So we're becoming more busy on developing bio fertilizers and it's a huge opportunity, right? Um, the innovation solutions, I would say, are more principles which are designed into making your, build, your um, business resilient. So, I mean, we talk about acting and design. So in permaculture, we talk about like designing resilience, designing redundancies into your business to make them resilient. So it's less of us reacting than it is actually acting, right? Not to say all businesses can do that so easily. It's more the nature of um, what we do in permaculture, but I mean, it's a really good thing for us to think about because yeah, multiple crises hitting us at one time, that's gonna be a challenge. So coronavirus and um, food shortages at the same time, you know, coronavirus and an earthquake at the same time. I mean, once we get hit with multiple crises at one time, then we better be re ready or else our business is just gonna crash, right? Um, let's see, what were some of the other questions? Um, yeah, so addressing our, our problems, I mean, um, an, an, another principle which we talk about in permaculture um, is that the, the problem is really the solution. 
So I think we need to look at the problems that our businesses are facing and start to be able to twist that, tweak that into a solution. So um, right now, I see a really big challenge, a really big problem coming up in Nepal is that we're going to have hundreds of thousands of, of people coming back from abroad, probably most of them not in the best financial position. Um, at the same time, our economy collapsing and us not being able to provide work. Um, the major centers of Kathmandu and Pokhara and other two big cities and stuff like that, probably not being able to support um, the, and these young people. Um, and so there are probably a lot of them are going to have to go back to the village side. That's going to cause strain on the village side. That's going to cause strain on, on municipalities, budgets, and, you know, everything. It's a problem. Um, but for me, it's also the biggest opportunity I've faced since coming into Nepal, because for the last 17 years, we've faced a chronic shortage of youth and educated people and skilled people because everybody works for you for a year or two years and then takes off abroad, right? And we talk about labor drain and brain drain and I mean, just every kind of drain, even youth drain in Nepal. So these people coming back are going to provide us with a wealth of experience, of manpower, of skills, of knowledge, of, of experience and youthfulness and energy, which I think if we can be creative in seeing this as a, as a, as a, a real opportunity um, to revigorize rural environment, revigorize communities, um, um, invest heavily in agriculture and especially regenerative agriculture, set Nepal up as an example for the rest of the world of how we can um, create local food systems, local economies, all right, local social systems, local healthcare systems, local industries, utilizing these youth to revigorate our, our economy because it's not coming back from remittance and tourism anymore. So, and, and we know that that's at least for two, three years. So what are we gonna do in the meantime? I mean, I'm excited about it. I really am. And, and like I said at the beginning of this is um, uh, the, the youth are, 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 are the real resource we have in this country. And, and, and I, ex I would really um, encourage heavily investment in, in them and in their in ideas and in the enterprises which they come up with. And, and I really think that's the future. Uh, um, so maybe the, the last one, the lesson learned. I mean, that's my spiel. Um, the lessons learned are um, things change, things always change. And um, I think we need to be realistic about the other changes that are coming um, politically, uh, socially, economically, uh, obviously a big concern of ours is always climate change and the impact that that has on communities. Um, so, I mean, I really would encourage, and I know there's a lot of talk about technology and I know there's a lot of talk about um, development and stuff like this. I really encourage people to filter um, things which are appropriate. So technologies which are appropriate in the context uh, that Nepal exists in and the realities which we will be facing in the future. Um, because uh, technologies can help us move forward and especially ones which are really appropriate in, in Nepal. Um, but so can creativity, so can entrepreneurship. Um, I mean, we are really only limited by our ability to imagine solutions for the future. And I really would love to see um, us taking these, these lessons from coronavirus and be able to apply them so that we're resilient to whatever challenges we face in the future in Nepal. I think that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for uh... Uh, uh, insights and yeah, it's the, like the problem is itself a solutions. And right now we can see that all the 
human resources of all the people are coming back to the country uh, would be an wonderful opportunity to restand ourselves for yeah. the coming futures and that um, that will be the great opportunity for us yeah. as well and okay thank you for your words Zach, now i'd like to invite mr person sorry person not sort of he is a co-founder and managing director of mind riser Consul consortium private limited and he is also my very good friend uh person the floor you. is yours. Thank you, Krista. Thank you. Krishna Zeli Bonyal Bayo, our Mose Mind Rajas Consortium Private Limited co a co founder. Uh, I act or I also act as a managing director of this company. Ambro Company is basically key or sub on that. We train the freshers for a whole new different university. Just so we know the fact that Ambro. Education system ma kya sa bande hari market ma kya bhai raakse tyo kam padai uncha theory ma focus uncha market ma job bana gaye fresher le job bana gaye fire gardi ra uncha higher and higher new bhai ra uncha tabe ko tyo degree ko value ne gardi na kya tabe ko aili ko chahi companies hari so hami will hami chahi co founders hari mera aur partner hari jo uncha hami se orda uh, company ma much IT background but I belong also. I, I used to work as as a software developer over there. And that key boy on the head. Mero on under match, I had to look after a few interns. Our interns go after my hair, no board hairy key boy on the hairy. Bakar is to Ram Ram University with a graduate where I was on. There only is a actually market my Chinese skill it has in a unit. University Bonuzan, the very Stu Ram Ram University. I don't know, Moilipan is on the end, Motte. I know for sure, Mira Namniski, for sure. This two university around the Herbani intern like the room like Kigorni Bonu Great Hassan. So Hami Tarzan or Amro partner, I know what we came up is market my case is demand. Rob say colleges and Makia Parians, we don't care. Unic degree layer also, we don't care. Eti Unala basic knowledge, that's all money. So what we do is we train them. What's your training also? Monday, actually, I'm going to say, poorly market ma bako IT companies, civil engineering companies, dekhi le ra tabe sales marketing ma bako companies jaisa. I'm going to poorly sure. I'm going to partner gawari kuch. Poorly sure unne sam partner gawari bide unne le I'm going to sure ma partner gawta tha boy also. Unne le cost type ko skills bako matchi set of skills bako matchi chai nahi ho. So sab pe detail le ra. I'm going to list ek pasadi. What we do is we train them according to the demand of company. Uh, this is the Harry Jam, the key boy one HR department, and companies are my HR department is used board and comb boys. I am Titi Gordego Karanago. The Kinoni Ekto Nele of a Kunepani intern or the fresher or the skill bog, man, say, Tayo one, if they give us a call. Call Gorsa and this was already Polisay Gunsa. Polisagra, I'm so twin Gorsagra, I'm letting the regular Hagunsa, and I am very for one is a फिर इस तो पढ़ियो अनिरी फॉर गौरव बने बनी हुई उन्हें लाइ रियल टाइम एजुकेशन दी रहा रियल लाइफ में क्या बाहर आसर कौन सी काम करने बने कोरे रियल इंस्ट्रक्टर बनी फिर हम लोग तब एको नॉर्मल यह आई तो फिर टीचर है बनी कौन सा जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ सैलरी आयर पढ़ाई दी न काम गरी रहे के इंस्ट्रक्टर को अंडर में ले रहा है मिले उन्हें ले ट्रेन कर सों जो ट्रेन कर रही है पसारी उन्हें ले हमें पढ़ाऊं सों सॉर्ट इन स्किल्स ऐसे रे दिया रा सो दिस इज़ व्हाट वी बेसिकली डू अब यो यो क्राइसिस के बारे में आज हमले को सरे से हमें हाउ डिड वी गेट अफेक्टेड विद दिस क्राइस I never thought, well, you know, life money imagine your return. I also feel lucky at the same time. It's to generation of John Wayne, so we go, we shall have any better, sir. It's to any better, sir. I know. I, you want to go, it's not a small thing. Yeah, I am. Let's suppose I'm roaching about next generation, next generation. Nothing, nothing, other one. That's not the oh my goodness, the stones on the you, the canyon stones on the other. There is to your time, but I am in this care of calm, gorilla, the house of no one. See, it's a blessing. Bhagwan ko kripa bina mude nahi ho, right? Use effect boy, I'm like. There any effect boy? Kine bani ek to ab companies jale, apni employees jale nikal di rahe gosa. Ab I'm bro bade kosari unle student log din sa. 
काम करना लगता है ना ते बरा आमी for almost two month आमी zero में थी we we did few work कुनी कुनी काम आउ आकु बेला अब चाहे normal लीजे हम रा it को बनी काम होन्सा ते काम ली करते हैं हम sustain करे हम रिंग blazer लाये हम ली अली ली बोले बंदियों salary को basis में अब तेरे सुसारी हम ली response पौसरी गौरी रासो मंदारे और इल्को केस में अब एक ता है मैं आप ही बने आईटी बैकग्राउंड को होना कारण लगा दहरी हमले टीम यो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम ज़ूम तब एको इनरू होने का हमले नया थे ना क्या वी वर यूज्ड टू इट हमले एक दम ही साझेल बॉय आरब दोनों एक दम ही साझेल बॉय कि मैंने आई एक ता हमले तेने कुरानी टेक्नो as a as a social responsibility है ना हमरो company जैसे oily को केस में बंदा करी यो धेरे ही तब एको यो आजकल धेरे ही सुनी रहा है तुम्हारे घर में बसे रहो lonely boy overthink करे overthink कर से बसे मान से रे एकदम एकदम ही normal stage में जाते रहे से यानी just because of that reason है बल्कि वो रूम बंदा करी से we took out a free course इस तो free course got दिम गया है बल्कि oily बनी enrollment बाहर रहा सा है ना तब एको digital marketing python तब एको इंसान स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग है एको पॉइंट ले तेरी तेरी पॉइंट के लिए भी उन्हें जॉब पाउंस है आफ्टर दिस क्राइसिस गेट्स ओवर तेरी पॉइंट के लिए उन्हें जॉब पाउंस है अब तेरी पॉइंट वाला भी उन्हें ले बनेगा तब एको एजुकेशन सिस्टम बनेगा यार बिजनेस पॉइंट स एजुकेशन सिस्टम लग को तो यहाँ तो तबे को वैल्यू नहीं सही ना कि जिस तो लेवल को बनाए जिसके खाली पैसा 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 बने रहे ते बरे पनी आम रे आम ले से फ्री मार गोटिंग देखो सीधे फ्री देरे राम रे रेस्पोंस पने यहाँ इरा सा आम रे टीचर्स हैर पने एकदम ही क्वालिफाइड टीचर्स हैर उन्होंने तो वहाँ आम रहता गॉफ़ी हूँ सर, आई तो वंदा बेसिक तोर कुने हुने है ना, आई किन्हों वाणी इसे यू वाणी का तो फैक्ट नहीं हो, आम रो में खाली गॉफ़ होती है, न्यूज़पेपर और दूसरा दिन को गॉफ़ हूँ सर, तेरे सुझाव डे बनेगा तो इम्प्लीमेंट होगा ही ना, इन्फैक्ट मेरे पति लेवल को सम्म अरे नहीं अब यू कॉस्ट तो देश में आए हैं बस इतना सो अब त्यों बने सरकार तो देर पॉलिटिक्स तेरे नाज़म फिर कुरा लॉन्ग मिंस है तेरे सुझाव अब और को बनेगा हम लेसे अब अलग यू समय में हम लेसे इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन है रुकी के लिए हम बने बराबर से मोबाइल्स ये धीरे बनेगा अब सब बंदा मेन कुरा फर्स्ट आगो बनी हो बिजनेस है एकदम ही बूम बागो बिजनेस हो अब त्यों से हमले एडॉप्ट करें एडॉप्ट करें सेपो साड़ी हमले दे रहे सौ जिलों बागो साड़ी के समय में काम करना विद्यार्थी वाला पढ़ाना बने को ऑनलाइन ही पढ़ाई इंसा उन्हें ला लाइफ इंस्ट्रक्टर इन्फैक्ट मौत की बंस वही एस एजुकेशन सि� और जो फोकस्ड बारे पढ़ना बनी पाऊं तो रिश्ते का जिस तरह प्लेटफॉर्म बड़ा यू करें मेरे था पाऊं तो रहेगी आई मूविंग ऑन मेबी अब टाइम पनी सी दिन लाइव वाला है आई रैप इट ऑफ वेरी फास्ट अब हम रोज़ ही वर्क फ्रॉम होम कॉस्टो बाहर ऐसा बंदा है जो अलग अलग सिनारियो में शुरू को द कि ना वाने अब ऑफिस में होता है पु अब गॉफ करें थियो काम उन थियो एनो वी यूज्ड टू बी सोशल अब आइलो वाने पु इट्स अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन तो मोनोटोन आ सुनते रहे सही तो कारण वाले हरी यू फॉरेवर ये सरी आई डोंट थिंक आई बी आई डोंट नो अबाउट ऑल्सो साइन तो तर मोस्ट कंटिन्यू करना लास्ट में मैं चाहे अब आम्रो यो यो कोविड नाइनटीन बड़ा लेसन के सीखियो बंदे कुरा से आम्रो सोचन बकोरे से आई कोविड नाइनटीन बंदे बिती के अब तो कोस्टो बनी सुसुर में तो आवाज़ स्ट्रोमेटाइज्ड फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग आवाज़ स्ट्रोमेटाइज्ड आई तेरा आइली बने को 
समय अनुसार यू स्टार्ट हिलिंग यूर सेल्फ बिर्स मैं यूज टू हो हो अल अडाप्ट अलग टाइम लगे तर अल्टिमेटली हमें अडाप्ट गये अडाप्ट कर पर्ने रहे कोविड नाइन्टीन ने मेन क्या सीखा ते हो नो मैटर व्हाट द सीचुएसन इज यू हेव टू अडप्ट इट अदरवाइज यू वॉन्ट एक्जिस्ट पश्योर अर्कोरा डिजिटल एक्सेस मेन कुरा ये डिजिटल एक्सेस अब हम गर्मेन्ट ने फूड क्लोथ सेल्चर इलेक्ट्रिशिटी अभी के प्राइमेरी बेसिक निड में रखे है व्हाट आई फील इज अ समय में आएर डिजिटल एक्सेस भी बेसिक निड हो जो मैं लगे हाई क्योंकि अलग के समय में स्कूल्स सब क्लोज कलेजेस सब क्लोज यह समय में कसले कसरी पढ़ाने तो वहाँ गाँव गाँव में तब इंटरनेट एक्सेस ही कसरी पढ़ाने है तो कारण सीचुएसन में व्हाट आई फिल्ट इज डिजिटल एक्सेस भी तब को बेसिक निड में इंक्लूड होने पर्ने कुछ रही अब को जेनरेशन में हाई एंड लास्टली मदर नेचर को रूल हो एटा समय में मत जाना समय में तल झर् इट्स अ रूल अफ नेचर वी वी नीड टू एक्सेप्ट इट एंड मूव फरवर्ड थैंक यू थैंक यू वाइफ इड हाई फॉर दिस वंडरफुल अपर्चुनिटी ओके थैंक यू पर्सन फर इन साइट्स एंड या इट्स ट्रू लाइक एडेप्टेशन इज की एंड आई लाइक टू से थैंक यू फर से sharing the exactly my same thoughts regarding how lucky uh, generation we are i used to talk in my office like hamrai palama bhukampa gayo hamrai palama corona mahamari aayo yeah it's like you said the same point and it feels like uh, there are so many other pe- other people also who think in the same way so with this uh, we uh, we have like uh, at the end of the each individual um, panel uh, session now we'll uh, have short wrap up se- uh, wrap up sessions for each individual panelist for 1 to 2 minutes uh, if uh, you guys want to like uh, share any conclusions uh, from here then we'll move to synthesis and remarks so uh, anybody who like to volunteer uh, you can start it ekdam interesting lagyo thank you hai krishna ji maile jab bolna thale sorry alikati kura chai maile chuteko jasto lagyo haina i'll just like to add a little bit धेरे जो को सुंदा खेल इंटरप्राइज एस मैं देखे प्रफिट मेकिंग बिजनेस जो देख गर्मेन्ट को एंगल बट ड्यूरिंग दिस क्राइसिस है अब गवर्नमेंट ने धेरे कुछ कर न सकते अवस्था में यूथर स्ट्रीट में आएर कुरा हमें डेमोस्ट्रेट कर देखी रह तर कि भादा खेल थ्रू दिस प्लेटफॉर्म है आई वुड लाइक टू से अब गवर्नमेंट स्थानीय निकाय ये सान सान बिजनेस ने कति यंगस्टर्स राखी रखे भाई खाले कुछ बुझे जस्तु लगता हाई तेज भादा इवन अस सपोज वी आर डुइंग कर्पोरेट सोशियल रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी के हिसाब से धेरे काम भैर तर भादा खेल देर इज नो एनी सब्सिडीज और नो एनी अलग इंकरेजिंग फैक्टर्स ताकि इंटरप्रा इंटरप्राइज रामस ग्रो भर सेल्फ सस्टेन होस् भिशिम को स्ट्रैटेजीज खास सुन्न था सबजा डिस्करेज हो रस्ट्रेशन बाहे अर के होते हैं तर वी आर हियर एक्जिस्टिंग है सब को सुंदा एकदम राम लगे थे अगे हम कृतिका जी ने भन्द थी आई स इन हर फेस है जब चाहे भनी राख्ता खेल सो आई रिक्वेस्ट है थ्रू दिस प्लेटफॉर्म अल्सो द यूथ इंकरेज करने होने अगि प्रसन्नजी ने जस्ते अब पढ़े मत भेन सो हेव टू कम विथ द सस्टेनेबल मीन्स के होता भादा उसे के बड़ा काम कर किसिम को प्रडक्टर निस्कता तो में कंपेटिबल हो रवर्मेंट ने हेने एंगल में मैं कुरा भादा खेल इट सुड नट बी टेकन एज अ प्रफिट मेकिंग बिजनेस ओनली है दे गिफ्ट अस एज अ सींगल बास्केट में राखी रह जिस ठूल कंपनीज सानों कंपनीज भर्खर ग्रोइंग कंपनीज सब बास्केट में राखे जस्ट लगता है इवन अब तब को टैक्सेसन को इवन माई बिजनेस इज नट रनिंग आई एम पेइंग अ भैट है अब इफ यू पे द भैट क्या एनुअल ट्रांजेक्शन यू आर इंक्रिजिंग सो बिकज अफ दैट यू हेव टू रजिस्टर इन अ भैट तेज के होता भादा तब जैसे भी सफर होद एटलिस्ट तो भैट मैं तीर नपरे को मे बी आई विल गो अब सोशल बिजनेस नहीं भनम न अब जस्तु लाइक फोहर भो वी आर क्लिनिंग इट 
मेकिंग अ सीटी क्लीन हेल्थस रिपब्लिक हेल्थस रिनेटेड काम तर ते में कुछ टैगलाइन छाइन आई मीन लाइक स्योरली वी आर डुइंग दे थर्ड अफ वी आर डुइंग एज अ प्रफिट मेकिंग बिजनेस सो यू हेव टू पे द टैक्स अनेर अब सायद अब सर्टन पीरियड पीछे फिर लकडाउन स्टार्ट हो रैन फिर अब स्ट्रिक्ट कर लिया क्यों भादा ये टैक्स तीर्न को लगी सो वी आर गेटिंग सम ओपन इन द स्ट्रीट तस्त खाल देखी रहे हमें कारण आई रिक्वेस्ट टू द गवर्नमेंट टू सी अल द यो इंटरप्राइज सेपरेट वे में हेन पर्च जो लैंक यू फर वाइफ इट एंड कृष्णजी योर मोडरेटिंग इज वेरी गुड थैंक्स एवरी वन ओके थैंक यू नवीन जी and uh, miss sazal you like to add something or sure um yeah i mean i think the gist of what i said is that um businesses entrepreneurs young entrepreneurs really need to take a good look at their businesses and their business ideas and see if um in the new normal that's even viable anymore you know and uh, when we talk about government help i think even the government needs to look at these sectors and see whether they're worth saving anyway for example um there's been much debate about not funding the airline industry at all not rescuing the airline industry at all so for this i don't know we need we need data we need analysts um we need to be more vigilant and um we need to use this opportunity to go towards um i would like to what zack was talking about not just a sustainable but perhaps a regenerative economy yeah yeah thank you and mr kiran you would like to add some conclusion over here uh aru ke kura prayas sabai kura te ni ho haina maile agi jun zack le bhane euta kura that really hit me hard ra maile bhane kura la alikati corrective way ma bhanna chahanchu adding on to what he said ki mostly i mean the technology bhanda bujyo bhane chai the kind of thing we imagine is amazon jeff bezos jack ma uh, rocket udaune computer banaune huncha ni website software development i mean technology like that tesari matra her so normally tara jun nepal ko paripekshya ma herne ho bhanne athwa nepal ko context ko kura garne ho bhane technology tyu matra hunu pardaina काठमंड में होगा ये टाइप को टेक्नोलॉजी वुड मेक मोर सेंस तर वंस वी स्टेप आउट अफ काठमंड जहाँ जैकले काम कर अथवा कुछ रिमोट पार्ट में होगा अथवा साउदर्न पार्ट अफ नेपाल हो टेक्नोलॉजी कुड बी कंप्लिटली डिफ्रेंट टेक्नोलॉजी तो एग्रिकल्चर में यूज करने टेक्नोलॉजी होगा एग्रिकल्चर में इन्वेन्ट्री सीस्टम होगा अथवा इवन फील्ड को प्लॉइंग करने टेक्नोलॉजी होगा अटोमेसन होगा एग्रिकल्चर में फेर अथवा इवन फार्मिंग में हो कैटलिंग में हो जे में हो सो हमी अब टेक्नोलॉजी लाई नीड टू लुक थ्रू द अदर साइड अफ टेक्नोलॉजी सफ्टवेयर मात्र है कि इट कुड बी मशीनरी इट कुड बी रोबोटिक्स इट कुड बी अटोमेसन इट कुड बी इन एग्रिकल्चर रेपाल जो अब नया मेन पावर आँच विदेश मेन पावर यो टाइप को टेक्नोलॉजी में एकदम क्लोज लुक राम मेन पावर आई रहा में सो आई थिंक हमी कर सकता हम साइड बड़ा होने स्टेट ले जो टाइप को मेन पावर ने आद बाहर को ठूल इंडस्ट्री में काम ठूल ठूल लार्ज स्केल अटोमेसन देखे मेन पावर आऊद सो वहाँ को लगी फिजिकल फिजिबल पैकेज दिए आएर भी पैकेज बने फिर भाई हाल सुड नट बी मनी के बिजनेस करने तरीका होगा अथवा काम करने तरीका होगा काम कर सजी हो नया स्टार्टअप कर सजी हो सो यो टाइप को टेक्नोलॉजी में इन्वेस्ट सब जान गयो आई थिंक Uh, it make more sense in Nepal for future ma not just uh, software or IT or e-commerce, but uh, the kind of technology that could actually be more practical when we step out of Kathmandu. So two type of technology ma apni Nepal ma se abo invest kornu pasar aur unse apni just lakh samalai. So that's the answer. Okay, Miss Kritika, you like to? Okay, sir. So, thank you, Miss Kritika. You like to add something? कृष्ण म म कसो अब हम यूथ अंटरप्रनरशिप को अब हम यूथ कतिजना अब यह स्टार्टअप करना इच्छा भैर हो 
Kina for example, अब हमरे दिन जाए हमरे सबे कस्टमर और घुमाई सा कैसा अब मैक्सिमम कंपनीज और को ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और को तेज आगे उन्हें ले और इले को टाइम माने टू टू थ्री मंथ में माने को उन्हें ले अपने कस्टमर और सब उन्जानी घुमाई सा के को सा ते बोलो न्यूली स्टार्टअप को लागी पानी इफ वहाँ आरु पैसा नहीं सफेद होगा ही ना बिजनेस करना लायक है ना तब ऐसा ना एकदम राम रे यूनिक टाइप का होना नहीं वो से लेने मार्केट में नॉलेज को प्रोडक्ट छा वो से लेने मार्केट में नॉलेज को आइडिया छा नहीं ते सारी नहीं तेला लोग ऐरा मार्केट में ज़्यादा हरी यू विल बी सक्सेस ते तीने बना जान से मलाई लाख सा ऐसा बोली अब जटिल समस्या है देखिए राजूम अब सब एक हो रहे हैं डेकेरी दुनिया है डेकेरी तो सब एक खत्म पनी होना सकता है जिससे लाख सो कोई लगाए सब एक क्रैश होना सकता है तेरे तेरे तो आए नहीं अब परिवार से सब एक तेरा क्या ना नमः पनी देरी आर्थिक समस्या बाहर आ चाहे जागिए पाऊना है � Skyrocketing, out of control, cards are buying at us. So, boy, go. That oil, it's a. This to, okay, what's a? Nagratmak, think no one. I mean, the just three pani to keep on going, going apart. I mean, it's a the upaya nekal na sak no apart. Okay, I mean, creative one apart. We are just on the edge of the new economy. We're just on the edge of things changing, and I mean, just three pani. एक तम रामरो संग पॉजिटिव सोच है रा रामरो संग बिजनेस करी रखना पड़ता जो ले छोड़ चा जो ले काउच में बास है रा बड़ी टीवी है चा बड़ी यूट्यूब है चा बड़ी नेटफ्लिक है चा तो मैं इसको बाबी से तो बनें दायना आई मेरे जन डबल काम करना पड़ता जन डबल दी मैक लाना पड़ता जन वो कर्चे थ Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. And it's inspiring as well. Uh, Mr. Prasanna, you'd like to add some concluding remarks? Uh, Mr. Prasanna, I think your mic is mute. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, about you, Somay Mathe, this is the not new beginning. Bakar Koli Bon Bok, I forgot. This is the new beginning. Kritika Jili Bon Bok, I forgot. और वाले और कुपनी वाला पूरा क्या ऐड करने वाला नहीं सब पे का वो मार्केट एवरेज आ गया जो पहले पहले अब यो कोविड बंदा गाड़ी कोई माती थी वाला वाली कोई तालत ही हो गया ना अब ऑयल का समय वाले सब पे यो कॉस्टों में कॉस्टों में बेस डाउन हो गया सर तो सब पे एवरेज लेवल में सर तो ऐसी ऐसी अब का समय में जो अरे माला एवढा कुरान सीखे आठवां माला सिंस मिस्टर जैक इज़ इन यो एग्रीकल्चर मको फील्ड में होनुं चाहो वाला इफ़ आई एम नॉट रॉंग आई ना सो आई वांटेड टू नो लिटल बिट मोर अबाउट यू नो हैमरो संसार को ची जून हैमले देख सकें यो तो नेपाल हो आई ना नेपाल में जो अलग एकदम एग्रीकल्चर में � it is going to impact in our economy, right? So, all you got to do is go back to since you belong to that, you know, platform, right? You know, how much like I'm going to box. If you could, you know, add something, it would be more informative. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, I mean, I come from Canada where marijuana is already illegal. It's already huge agriculture. It's already a huge industry. It's not, it's not just ganja, it's not just for smoking and getting high, but it's uh, medicinal fabrics, fibers, papers, uh, foods, oils. Uh, I mean, multiple products coming from one plant as well is extremely easy to grow. Uh, but I mean, it, it's, it's another principle we, we talk about in Nepal. It's about 
developing the, the local resources. So Istania Srotko Prayag. What do we have from within the country which we can develop for maximum, be, maximum benefit? And if ganja is one of those or hemp is one of those and we can produce oil and food and fibers and everything that we need, uh, 100%, I mean, I think it would be a fantastic investment and a whole new industry and enterprise um, in Nepal, for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. That was informative. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. And now we are uh, quite ahead of the time, and I hope we can pull it next ten minutes. Uh, I believe everyone is okay with that. And I'd like to welcome Mr. Anil Upadhyay. Uh, uh, he is be uh, he will be saying our synthesis and thing is clo uh, closing remarks. And he is a uh, uh, sorry. He is executive director of Management Association of Nepal. Uh, Mr. Arnold, I'd like to request you to add, uh, go for a synthesis, synthesis and closing remarks in a bit short. Uh, namaste all, Krishna. Thank you very much. Uh, I am really very happy <clears throat> that uh, this is a great platform for me, for us. But uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Abhasikthani abhishkar ko jananiyo. Tisale Amile Suruad Maj, yo Hamlo Sati Jack. I am very happy that Jack also understands Nepali. So I, I I also very feel comfortable to speak in Nepali. So uh the Sabi Nepali needs some mina. Uh is currently got the khas uh Mopaniti one. So every uh no, no, challenges has on one golden opportunity one China. Very good Aru I suck Sapi Sati or Gukura Sunda Heri Milita has your platform but एउटा राम्रो यो दुई यो 1 and a half hour को टाइम मा धेरै कुरा लेसन लर्न गर्ने जस्तो लाग्छ म्यानेजमेन्ट एसोसिएसन अफ नेपाल म्यान नेपालको एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्सहरुको भन्नु न एकालको प्रशासकहरुको इन्जिनियरहरुको डाक्टरहरुको विशेषगरी विशेषगरी त्यसमा चाहिँ कर्पोरेट सेक्टरका मान्छेहरुको एउटा एपेक्स बडी हो त्यहाँ म काम गर्छु जहाँ हामीले नेपालको इकोनोमिक रिसोर्स र यस्तै खालका कुराहरुमा Discuss or go to work. I am a pre budget discuss curu, this was a state Nepal Rasta being the monetary policy pronounce the Tesma Kurakani Guru. Sopikura egdomi, a motto punakura, Rakos, and it would have been a little bit of a like Zangari Garauki. Only you formal and informal sector mass ekum tima, dos lak, one nobody big theoru, Birusgar, Boysaki Kosona, on Mantiota, you Pachilo, Nepal Sakargo data ma, the Bidis my career, Korip Chalis lak, Stroming Karu, Motip Pass lak, one nobody Birusgar, Boysaki Gasan, the Tismoti, the Rijos on Nepal, Maparki Sakasan, the government lay. At the small pass for the Satko Arctic Brady Silgarni Manasa, Tara Nepalku, a Kendre to thank a bivag, Junior Lithasa, Tesla, do it the small of Satis Protisat Matra of Uni Banera, Escoce, the Pango forecasting at our proper shepherd Gorigosa. I know a Tesla in Nepal must have in the body bit, Vitrine Kura remittance to Ekarbo, Tirsati or Rupia, Jun Oiliku Arctic Versama Cotera, I know Jamasa, Obo Sat Karbo. Sura or Matra Bitrina Numan Gari Kusaida. This area of lockdown ku Kairan say, Sarkali Loxi on Sarkuzun, Raza Soku Kuraza, Cupani Oil say Jobberzusti Uthaini Kurazun, Occupani and Satil Kuragano Bio, Tiozosco Business Vassal, the Uthauna Lize, Morally Sarkar Lipani Garza, the Cupani, except Pasasti, Dushi or Dushi or Bazati, Raza Samatri Gotney, some Mavanasa. About Jun, a donor or Ruthu, Datri Rasta or Ruthu, Tini or Lipani. Unero Afri Kuruna Bat of Probabi Saniskara Legara Unia Lebanese Nepal Lai of Saita Dini Sam Mauna Comsa. Of it is Sabai Bhiro da Pane Kosa Yogari Jani, I know. What would be the bounce back schemes then? I know. Yes, a boy only. Pocket Bario. Ogi Sopisati after concluding points must some I know. Jaha topic of challenges unsa, the opportunity of a seunsa when the Gragon would one eighty. It's a Malik Husik lakhs over it. This is the country of the like the more than forty percent of young population. Right? So I am very happy that yeah, I mean Nepali Chalis Prati Sajana Sangha Nepal my U are go matricha. Right? My you and the US Sostag director Bonity. It's currently got that Nepali U Ali Bidisma Sikiko Sip Lai Chali Sapi skill life. I know Nepal Ma Oza 
इंडिविजुअली उसको क्षमता उसको इंट्रेस्ट के चाहना के फिट करें ते अनुसार को स्किम डेवलप कर जो हमें भाई में कृषि में मत होने सब कुछ सब थोपरे मत होने क्योंकि कृषि ने कई करेन फ्रस्ट्रेट भर बाहर गई युवा अलग एक चोटी आए फिर कृषि में विदउट एनी स्किम विदउट एनी प्लान होने वाला छे तर अगि जाकले बना जस्ते में थुप्रे संभावना है लोकल रिशोर्स को प्रयोग कर लोकल तब को तब को हेल्थ सीस्टम क्रिएट कर लोकल इकोनोमिक सीस्टम क्रिएट कर सब कुछ नेपाल में जी संभाव्यता बोक मूलुक अरुण ठाव में छेन इस कारण हम पोजिटिव होने पर्च डिजिटलाइजेशन को डिजिटलाइजेशन एडप्ट करने कुछ में जो अल को यूनिवर्सिटीज में त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय ने सब भाई विश्वविद्यालय हो जहाँ से अस्त अनलाइन क्लास जम्मा थर्टी वन पर्सेंटेज मत स्टूडेंटर को एक्सेस देखिए इस कारण हमीस इट्स बिग डिजिटल डिवाइड डिजिटल गैप भी अगि एकजा साथी भो डिजिटल एक्सेस बेसिक अथवा फंडामेन्टल राइट को रूप में डेवलप कर प्रसन्न जी ने भू एकदम राम हो मैं का विद्यार्थी भाला हमी अजिटलाइज करने होने जो अनलाइन क्लास लूनिवर्सिटी कलेज भैल्यू दिने भाषा तेज को एक्सेस सब भाई पैला पुराव पर्यटन एट फंडामेन्टल राइट और फंडामेंटल एक्सेस को रूप में अगड़ी बढ़ाने पर्यटन ये निराशा का कुरा कर आज को समाचार तब अनलाइन खबर हेन भाई ग्यापो अनलाइन मार्केट ने लकडाउन को अवधि अवधि में मत डेढ़ करोड़ को कारोबार कर पोजिटिव न्यूज भी हम अगड़ी इसलिए संभाव्यता सब सब ठावन अब न्यू नर्मल में हमें अगि एकजा शायद कृति का शाह ओके कृति का जी ने एकदम आपको राम स्टोरी सेयर करो वहाँ भून थो अब न्यू नर्मल सीचुएसन में यदि इसका धनाढ़ मं अरबपति हमी भर्खर स्टार्टअप बिजनेस करने को लेवल एवट अथवा कंसेप्ट को हिसाब से आइडियाज को हिसाब से भाग खोजे हाई क्योंकि अस्त हमें भर्खर एट मोनिटरी पोलिशी को डिस्कसन करा थे जहाँ तब को उद्योग वाणिज्य एफ एनसीसीआई देखि चेम्बर अफ कमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री सब इंडस्ट्री का प्रेसिडेंट हो वहाँ सब निराश हो इस कारण कि प्राइवेट सेक्टर सब भाई बड़ी प्रभावित टूरिज्म बड़ी प्रभावित इसलिए अब न्यू नर्मल में कसरी जाने भाई आइडियाज को लैकिंग तो आइडिया तब हम जस्ता युवा जो बाहर बा फर्क फर्क स्किल लीएर तो स्किल फिट होने गरी उन्नी कता फिट करने हो तो गवर्नमेंट ने समयम सोच् पर्व राष्ट्रीय योजना आयोग नेशनल प्लांग कमीशन ने जो एक करोड़ को लगानी में तब को फोर्टी पर्सेंट तब को लगानीकर्ता साठी पर्सेंट सरकार ने लगानी करें कार्यक्रम लियाने भाषा तर तो कुछ निश्चित व्यक्ति को लगी नहोस्स में फियरली साँचीक काम करने युवा एनकरेज करने कुछ जो अगि भन्न भाथ एकजा साथी ने सर्टिफिकेट मात्र दिए लिने कुछ में चार पांचजा आठ दस जान मत सहभागी हो तो नहोस्ता पैकेज फियरली इंडिपेन्डेन्टली तब को पोलिटिकल एक्सेस छेन भाई में तब में भागीदार होना सहभागी होना नपाने अवस्था नरोस् सब एकदम न्यूट्रलली हेस् भूरा नहीं हो रग्र में भादा खेल के भादा खेल अब हमी चाहे कस्तो खाल न्यू स्किम में जानू पर्स भारे में अल अक्सप्लोर करने राइट टाइम हो तेल हमें एप्लाई कर जो मैन जस्तु व्यवस्थापक संस्था ये कुछ खोजि न्यू मैनेजर्स हमें तब को प्रमोट भी कर मैनेजर्स नया इंटरप्रेनर्स हमें तब को इनहांस भी करो माने हमें के भाष प्राइज और पुरस्कार दिए हर एक वर्ष करने हमी एशियन एसोसिएसन अफ मैनेजमेंट इंस्टिट्यूशन को फाउंडिंग मेम्बर भाग साउथ एशिया अथवा एशिया एशियन कंट्री में हम तक कुछ रोन वाइफिडले कार्यक्रम इसमें जी साथी स्टोरी सेयर कर मैं एकदम इन्फर्मेटिव भक्ता कुछ मैं आगामी दिन में हम हर एक रेगुलर फ्राइडे मैनेजमेंट टक भाई फ्राइडे हम टक प्रोग्राम छेस में सेयर कर साथी सब करे जैक जो अलमोस्ट हेमन फार्म बा जो काम भैर वहाँ सेयर कर एकदम वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग जैक हई अस में वहाँ स्टूडेंट फ्रम कलचर है वन एलिमेंट मल्टिपल सर्विसेस 
मल्टिपल के रे मार्केट को कुरा जो गुनाभ थे तो हमें लेसन लर्न कर पड़ने अलग यहाँ भाग हम फोरम में भग साथी जस्तु लगे है वहाँ में आए ये राम काम कर तेस को लगी वहाँ से जो लोकलिटी लोकल कंटेक्स लोकल रिशोर्सेस मोबिलाइज कर यही देश में कर सकता और नेपाल अज संभावना संभाव्यता अज बोड़ी भर मूलुक नहीं होने एटा फरेन एटा सा सोशल एक्टिविस्ट जो भन्न हमारा लगी एकदम राम हो रु अरु हमी एक अर् का आइडियाज सेयर करते अगड़ी बढ़ते जान पर्स तर अब आइडियाज हब आइडिया मार्केट एकत्रित कर गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ कंक्रीट वे बा इंप्लिमेंट कर भारे में एटा खाल भन न तो गवर्नमेंट को एटा कुछ तस्त सेंटर है चाहे बन पर्चकार ने तो बारे में अज सोच सकते क्यों में युवा भित्र बजेट में लेखे लेखे कुछ इंप्लिमेंट होना को लगी तो खाले मेकानिजम डेवलप होने पर्यटन रो मेकानिजम ने कुछ युवा पोलिटिकल एक्सेस अथवा अन्न एक्सेस का आधार में है एकदम न्यूट्रल जस्टिस होने गरी सब इक्वली उसे राइट दिखे इक्वल अपर्चुनिटी दिखे तो भाई मत तब हमें परिकल्पना इमाजिन आइडियाज प्लान इंप्लिमेंट कर सकता है तीन भन्न चाहिए अब हम धे बेर भी बस सकता छो रिजिटल को डिजिटलाइजेशन को असली नकारे तर ते डिजिटल एक्सेस है सब को एकदम रूरल एरियासम से एडप्ट कर सकने क्षमता कसरी बनाने भाई कुरा में सोचने पर्च हाई तो हो रि भपूर्ण साथी को एकदम इंपोर्टेन्ट मननीय है तैं सब को भनाई में एकदम निने वाले तीन चार देखि दसवटा आइडिया निस्क सब को सब को फरक फरक आइडिया निस्कित यह कस रिपोर्ट भन न रैपोर्टिंग के उसको रूप में राइटिंग करी हर एक को स्पीच बा दुई तीनवटा की लाइन अथवा पंच लाइन एटा भन निने आइडिया हमें धेरे का लगी एकदम इंपोर्टेन्स होता रज थुप्रे यूथर थुप्रे न्यू स्टार्टअप बिजनेस करने चाहने इसलिए धेरे आइडिया दिन सो मैं अर्गनाइजर लाई भन ते डकुमेंटेशन कर सेयर करना रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहूँ रो अपर्चुनिटी मैं भी पाए यहाँ धेरे कुछ मैं पर्सनली लर्न करें है सीक्ने सीक्ने अवसर प्राप्त भैय में वाई फिट लैंक यू सो मच भाँचु रि नई भन मैं थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके थैंक यू अनिल उपाध्यायजी या विल टेक योर सजेसन एंड वी हेव अंडर प्लान दैट अल द की content will be taken uh, like uh, extracted from there and we'll share on a different media as it well. okay and i would like to request before ending our formal sessions uh, we we are like 27 minutes or ahead there we'll take couple of minutes uh, before ending our sessions i would like to request you all to open the camera whoever are comfortable because we have we forgot to take the screen shot i was supposed to do at the beginning but i was super excited then i forgot to do that so we will having our one screen shot Mm, so everybody most of them okay uh, so we'll be like let's wait for others for just a minute and then we'll take our screen sir okay i think this is it yeah okay uh, screen sir it's done over here and then now like mm, as a moderator and from the part of the wife foundation i like to thank you for all the speakers um, who are who accepted our invitations and be a part of our <coughs> this our dialogue and it's like um, for me also each individuals who uh, who participated over here and share their story i know couple of them and i uh, got to know other as well and it has been so much motivating for me also and i feel like every youth who are uh, doing an innovative or doing any kind of businesses are an inspiration for the other uh, other youths over and and for me uh, you guys are the one like uh, who always motivate me to stay in the country and do something for our country and yeah that's from my side and from wife foundation i'd like to thank everybody and hopefully we'll uh, meet somewhere in a, some different kind of events and once again apologies for not being able to go to live for on facebook or youtube due to our error on zoom but we will share our record sessions and we'll uh, share link with you guys as well 
yeah this is the end of the formal session thank you everybody uh, we will we'll meet soon somewhere thank you bye bye thank you, krishna yeah thank you thank you everybody namaste namaste, namaste yeah. everybody stay bye. safe take care everybody bye. thank you so much right, bye take bye. care thank you thank you very much stay safe bye.